Fantastic. Okay. Do you want me to do the slides or no? Uh, do you want to press no, slides yourself? No, no, no. All right. Seven minutes. Just write down your questions. Write down any notes. To the next slide. Okay, I'll tell yeah. you. And the one time there's a, there's a video where you can do Okay. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I just want to say thank you for, for asking me to do this, uh, this speech. I'm um, also, it's, it's good to get it off my chest because this fuck up really happened like two weeks ago. So it's nice to, uh, yeah, it's nice to just get it out there. Uh, I just want to start off with why I'm here. The, like the reason why, why I'm at this uh, World Summit Awards is, to, is, is because when I was 15, I created a community uh, of people who love wildlife. And basically, millions of people go to safaris around the world, in Africa mostly. And our community allows them to share their experiences in real time with people around the world. So people share a lot of photos, but they also share a lot of videos. And so, so basically, one way that I use to grow the community and to get a lot of followers is by sharing amazing videos. This is one that I saw a few years ago on YouTube, and I thought this would be a brilliant one to share. You can see a, a bird attacking a snake, and you know, it's really fascinating, and it's really rare. And so the first thing I did was I asked this woman, Jo Young, if I can share the video. And she was actually part of the, of the website already. She's like, yeah, sure, go ahead and share it, and stuff like that. So we did. Um, throughout the years, what we're actually doing is every week we would share an amazing video. And uh, over the past few years, We've been doing that once a week, and they've been really growing and reaching millions of people. We're now the most viewed YouTube channel in South Africa with 320 million views. And so this was doing well. And because we have such a big following, YouTube actually started paying us. And so when these numbers increased to the millions, we were getting paid by YouTube, we were selling them to TV shows, and we would share the video or the revenue that we earned with the original person who filmed the video and sent it to us. And you know, when we did this, we started putting contracts in place, getting things ready, formalized, and, and paying people a lot of money. And so the, this, this is basically explaining the partner program and how it works. You know, we, we take the videos, we share it, and, and we get it, you know, millions of people to view the videos. Uh, this person, he, he lives in South Africa, he doesn't work, he's a pensioner, and we've managed to give him $16,000. And especially for a pensioner, but for anyone in the world, that's a lot of money, and he was really excited. And so, over the past few years, we've been trying to grow our good name of people to join and share their videos and share their sightings with us. And we can also get their sightings to be seen by millions of people, but also earn some money out of it. And so imagine you're working so hard to get your good name out there and suddenly you go on the worst place ever on Facebook and see your name being torn apart. And so, so this is what happened to me. I mean, I love Facebook, but when, when, the, when like, people are angry on it, they don't know when to stop. And so this is the original video that I showed you in the beginning, where this woman who's actually sent in a few other videos and been earning off of it, suddenly posted this on a, on a group that's exactly who I'm trying to target, people who love the Kruger Park. It's a safari in South Africa. And we saw this, and she told everyone how we stole her video, how we, we haven't paid her anything, how we're stealing money, and no one must join, no one must come in. And, uh, and this was shocking. I was really nervous. I looked at this, and I saw why, you know, why she's saying this. We have been paying her. And so when we looked closely, it, it seemed like I'd fucked up. I'd, I'd, I'd missed her one video, even though she, she posted three. The first one, we didn't. And that's the one that did the best. It got 13 million views, and we, we, know we didn't pay her for that one. But uh, the second we realized this, we, we emailed her, and, uh, and um, you know, we, we offered to pay exactly what she would have earned, which is $3,000. And, uh, and when we did this, we got an email from her back saying $3,000. I know for a fact it made $1 million. If you don't pay me by this Friday, which was like a few days from then, you know, she would go to the media, she would tell the whole world that we steal videos and that no one should join and stuff like that. And so, you know, we, we get the numbers straight from YouTube and from Google, and we knew $1 million is completely out of the question, there's no way. And so we said, you know, we're sorry, we'll pay you what you deserve, which is 3,000. If you can get $1 million, we'd actually love to hire you because that's a huge amount and we can't do that. But uh, she was angry. So then she went on, no, don't change it. Uh, she went to, um, to Carte Blanche. And basically Carte Blanche is the biggest investigative TV show in South Africa, reaching millions of people every week. And, uh, and what they do is they kind of look at these scandals and, and try and, and investigate them and bring it out there to the whole of South Africa to look at. And so 
when she contacted them, I was really nervous. Even though, you know, we, we looked at it from our side, we already done nothing wrong. We tried to fix what we did. Yeah, we, we didn't pay her. We missed it out. And so we offered to do that. And so carte blanche, the next day, phoned us. And, uh, and basically, they said, we investigated this. We want to interview you. And uh, what they soon realized is that the woman like that demanded $1 million, they, they realized, okay, we messed up, but what we want to do is we've interviewed people you have paid who have joined the partner program uh, on our YouTube channel, and we, they want to do a feel-good story. And so they did this, and this was last week, Sunday, and the time that they, that they aired this video, our numbers really soared. And, you know, we got... Um, you know, thousands of downloads and people actually crashing our servers because so many people are uploading their videos to join the program. But what I really learned from this is that, you know, I'm now 20 years old and so I've got a lot of inexperience and stuff like that where I, I, miss, I mess up and, and, you know, it sometimes affects people. Uh, but, you know, when these things happen, I try and just, you know, try and turn it into a positive, really uh, try and make it better and stuff like this. Uh, you know, that's what we did with this situation. And, yeah, unfortunately, uh, we're still trying to work things out with her. She's really demanding the $1 million. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, we're working hard on it, and and yeah, even though I fucked up, I thought um, the way we dealt with it is hopefully a, a positive, and I've learned a lot from this experience. So thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Yes. Yeah. So actually, uh, they 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 basically did everyone hear the question. They asked if uh, the investigative channel actually posted this, and you know this woman was really angry and was demanding this from them. And um, one thing that they pointed out is. They also who do this, they take people's content a lot and, and show it on their, on their channel. They don't like doing also when people steal videos because it also kind of, it opens up them to, to also being attacked like this. But they did research what we had done and they found that, okay, we did a mistake. We, mis we mispaid her, we didn't pay her. And they knew that, okay, we did nothing illegal. But when they found out how much good we were actually doing, because it wasn't only paying people, we were helping uh, promoting South Africa as tourism and stuff like that. So the amount of good that we were doing because of sharing uh, wildlife videos and paying people for that, they thought that could be a good angle to end off their, their, you know, like their, their sad or very like hectic and scandalous TV show with a nice uh, five-minute feel-good story. And so that's kind of the reason why they posted it. Uh, just because they, they realized, okay, so we messed up. They also highlighted how young I was just because I'm prone to these mistakes. Uh, but they wanted to do a feel-good feel story as opposed to, you know, showing what we did wrong because it was just one person as well. Yeah. Okay. What was the personal impact? Oh, sorry. So? What was the personal impact of this? So it was, it was extremely hard to deal with. Um, you know, for me, I've... I've kind of been the, the leader of this community for since I was school, and so a lot of the community members know me personally, as opposed to just uh, our app or our YouTube channel. And so this woman then also then went and attacked me personally, saying how I'm, you know, stealing people's money and thieves, and they want us closed down. And so for me, knowing that. I've been trying to build up trust with this community and that's kind of how we've grown to so many people is by having trust and, and so it's kind of really hard to see uh, people now thinking that I'm stealing people's money and, and when we weren't and uh, especially when, when people claim millions when it's, you know, it's not that much. Uh, we hopefully it will be millions one day but yeah, it was really hard for me personally just because, uh, you know, we've been trying to build it up so much on trust and, and this has taken that away. Uh,
put up a negative story about your company and how will you deal with it afterwards then? In, if you didn't have to do that, how will you have dealt with it? So the question was, uh, you know, sometimes they change people's words and they actually make you look bad or they would focus on the bad and what would I have done if, if, they, had did, if they had done that? And so that, was, uh, that kept me up at night. I really, I was, uh, I was so scared because basically with carte blanche, if they, if they make you look bad, your business can, can be down by that weekend. Like people really follow it and, and if they make you look bad, then like the whole the country, the people who I'm trying to target now think I'm a thief. And so... Yeah, I mean, we, we really, we, we planned hard. We had, like, articles ready on how, of the good that we do. And we really got a lot of the community involved and, and saying how, how great we are. Just because, you know, just to show, because what we found is a lot of people who were angry were the only ones that were actually tweeting. And even though it's not a lot, it's like 10 or 20, you know, they, they make themselves look big. And so we did get our community involved, uh, which is, you know, half a million people. So it's a lot more than 10 or 20. And all of them being involved really helped show that you know yeah we messed up on this one but look how many people we are paying you know every every single month then up to 200 people who have shared videos and are earning and so 200 people now are being paid and so they already showed um yeah they showed that we did one mistake but that was kind of our way of, of kind of waiting for a rebuttal in case the us look bad is by showing the amounts of people that we do pay and the good that we do Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>